Around three to six months ago, I binged a bunch of videos from 3Blue1Brown on YouTube. It's a math-focused channel that explains stuff with cool animations. At first, I didn't think much of it, but around five videos deep, I thought, how the hell does he make them? After a bit of Googling, it turns out that the creator of this channel, Grant Sanderson, was the guy who originally wrote the Python code that allowed him to create these animations. I wanted to investigate this further because I loved how clean and beautiful those animations looked. I thought if I could replicate 1% of what he can do, my videos would look so much more aesthetically pleasing. Obviously, aesthetically pleasing equals more views. And as it happens, around the same time, I had seen a TED talk and it was all about how it only only takes around 20 hours of focused effort to learn almost any skill to a reasonable degree. Which means that all the stars aligned in my head and I decided to give it a go. I immediately hit a wall during the installation process. The Python library that I had to install for these animations was called Manim and it had a few dependencies what? that I had to install with it. The problem was that I had no idea what they did nor what I was doing, and B, I had no clue why the installation process wasn't working. But eventually, after a bunch of research on Reddit, I found the most random niche solution, and it worked. Now that I had it installed, it was time to learn to at least make it output something visible on the screen. Here's where I hit another wall. There weren't that many tutorials on YouTube or most other places for complete novices like me. Most of them assumed I knew a bunch of things about writing code already but I did not. So I had to piece a bunch of information from many different videos, Reddit posts, and Stack Overflow comments to finally learn it enough to produce a very simple infant animation. A square. That was a lot of effort for what came out of it. But little by little, after giving up two or three times, let's not talk about that, I started using these animations in my YouTube videos, which meant that I had to learn to make more of them, and so I did. After a few more weeks, I felt like I learned it to the point that if I wanted to make something more advanced, I could Google for a solution or ask ChatGPT and then tweak the answer to create the thing I wanted. It was at this point that a brilliant idea struck me. Why shouldn't I make a course about it? After all, I didn't find that many great resources out there for complete beginners, and I'm a beginner myself. So if anyone knows what a beginner needs to learn Manim, it's me. Being the money whore that I am, I immediately started planning it out and seeing if I can put together something reasonable. But the thing that happened next was what I least expected. As I started working on the course, I immediately noticed that I couldn't explain some concepts that I didn't fully understand. So I started googling and trying to understand them more, or at least to the point that I could explain them to myself three months ago. The version of me who didn't know anything about creating animations. And the strangest thing was that the more lessons I created, the more I learned. I even decided to make a few lessons that I knew nothing about. So first I had to learn what I didn't know and then learn even more trying to teach it to someone who doesn't know about it. In the end, I learned almost as much teaching as I did learning. I finally understood some concepts like lambda functions or updaters that seemed too complex when I was just learning about them by myself and not trying to teach them. This experience taught me two things. One, that I can make a decent course about a topic where I'm barely above a beginner level I'm very biased here. And two, the teaching is a great way to learn. Anytime you want to learn something, look at it through the lens of a teacher rather than a student. Obviously, you don't need to make a course to learn. Just changing your frame of mind from what do I need to know to learn this to what do I need to know to teach this is enough. Also, this video was made from one of the issues of my email newsletter. I usually send it out once a month with some cool Mac apps, websites, ideas, quotes from books, and things that I learned. You can read it completely for free in the description or enter in your email and I'll send it to you every month.